What's, What's good, good fish fam? fam? So this is one of my favourite times of the year. It's when the spring comes, there's daffodils outside, the birds are singing, baby the sun animals. starts to shine, baby animals. And there's loads of Easter eggs. You can't be yeah. off and not talking about the chocolate. Yeah, and there's <laughs> loads of chocolate, of course. So today's video, we're gonna be doing a bit of a fun challenge, and that is we're gonna be eating only Easter foods for the whole day. So that means breakfast, lunch, dinner, and all of the I'm snacks. I'm so happy about this. This is yeah. like my dream come true. I love chocolate. <laughs> like, you do realize though, Sienna, eating loads of like chocolate and sweet foods is actually quite hard. You like, do eventually end up feeling very sick. Okay then, right. So I'm up for a can challenge. Can you take the camera? Let's take the go. Over here, We've got a bit of a selection already. However, wow. I want us to go out and I want us to see what stuff is in like the restaurants and the shops. That's a so good idea. this is just like a little bit of a taste of some of the things I managed to find. A little. The family doesn't actually know what I got. I've been in control of this um, video and challenge, so like you don't know what's in store. Look! <laughs> what? Mikey Bunny lemon fizz! <laughs> Chucky explosion. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to be making your breakfast. They don't Ooh. know what I'm going to be making them, so I want you lot to all clear off okay. while I make you the best breakfast you've ever had. This is Bye. great! Ooh. Right, Daddy Fizz is now going upstairs. I want this to be a nice little surprise for them. So I thought this actually makes a really, really good breakfast. It's quite a legit one actually at this time of the year, and that is hot cross buns. Hot oh, cross buns. You know the little song, don't you? Sorry, that was really cringe. <laughs> so these ones are plant kitchen ones. These are from M&S. These are vegan hot cross buns, packed full of juicy sultanas and raisins, flavored and mixed peel, and unique blend of warming spices. I really like hot cross buns. It kind of reminds me of like Christmas at autumn time when there's like sort of chai things. So I actually really like this sort of flavor. It's all cinnamon and everything in there. I think they're gonna like this. This is a rather unorthodox breakfast actually. And then I'm going to serve it with these really cute hotel chocolates. City bunnies, look how cute they are. 16 dashy, dashing bunnies, dressed and pressed and solid 70% dark chocolate. Ooh, that's gonna be a little kick to the day. And then also we're gonna serve it with some little mini chucky eggs by me free. So this is gonna be really fun. I hope they didn't hear me. They're all the way, basically we've got five levels in our house and they're all upstairs, so I don't think they heard me. So I'm now gonna go make, this is actually quite an easy breakfast to make as well. I'm really excited for it. <laughs> Ooh. This is ready! Right, so I've just made the breakfast, Fizz Fam, and this is the cutest breakfast I've ever made. I can't wait for them to see this. I can hear you coming! It's in order, yeah, it's so order of keenness, look. Okay, here you go. See, the least keen is coming last. Wow! Oh, oh nice. wow! Thank you very much. Do you know what that is? Hot cross Some buns! Bunnies and a hot cross bun. I know, Shut look up. how cute yeah. that is. Wow, that is so cute. Thank I know. you. Aww. Sorry, your Thanks. one has only got three bunnies because I ate one. <laughs> That'll be mine. There you go, Sienna. Thanks. Mm. Right, so sit down and enjoy this sugar fest because there's going to be more sugar coming, guys. Mm. Mm. What do you think of this breakfast? Because you normally have a very, like, I don't know, whole foodsy, sort of like practical breakfast, don't you? Naughty. Naughty. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? It's think? different. I mean, yeah, I like it. I mean, some people it's do. It's like have, it's Easter or Christmas. It's or kind something. of like a glorified, yeah. like having toast, anyway. I actually yeah. put mm. nut butter inside. Because mm -hmm. we didn't have yeah. any spread, so I thought nut butter would be nice. I know it's not very Eastery, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, it looks well. What do you give out of 10 then, Sienna? Um, 7.5. Okay, what do you? Um, 9.5. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a nine as well, because the hot cross bun is really cinnamony. Mm -hmm. It's really moist and sticky. It's not dry at all. I really, I think this is really impressive, this hot cross mm. bun. I, I've it's had them before, and they're really, really dry, and it's just like having a bread roll mm. with like kind of a few ways. No, it's and when you don't in. toast it. Oh, right, because it when you don't the toast sugars. it. Then they're not nearly as good when you toast them, then they go all nice and chewy. But the M&S one, the vegan and one for M&S, mm -hmm. Perfect, and I love the fact I'm getting to eat chocolate for breakfast, which I do sometimes have anyway. I usually eat my breakfast and have a square chocolate afterwards, <laughs> but this is just so nice. These are dark chocolate ones. Do you think mm. these are nice? They're quite creamy, mm -hmm. aren't they? Controversial opinion, four out of 10. I don't really like dark chocolate that much. I'm actually though. a white chocolate fan. Yeah. I love white chocolate. Comment down it's below. It's always been my favorite. Dark milk or white chocolate? I think this is like one of those things that mm. people could always debate over. By the way, what do you think of these little eggs? They're kind I of a bit them. disappointing, aren't they? Mm. I feel so nice. I was expecting there to be something inside. We are now going to be having Easter eggs, so you can now run up to the desk and grab yourself the Easter egg that you want. Go on, last one doesn't get to choose what they want. Um, 
confused by desk. Yeah, this one. That's what meant in the office. No. Where the Easter egg for care? This one. Well, well done, Shira. I don't Shira. know if I got the right one, but I already Go on, grab the Easter egg one before I do. I'm going to maybe get this one off the desk. I'm going to get this one. This fan is about to be my period, okay? So this is the perfect challenge to be doing, but also gonna get all of my words muddled up and I'm also gonna probably cry in this video. What? I felt like that breakfast was in that filling, so I just thought, come on guys, let's actually have our Easter egg. Of course I chose the one that looks like it's designed for six year olds. And it's white chocolate, because yeah. you're just saying you love that. Let's go to the table, because I know it's coming up to Easter and loads of you guys are gonna be watching this video to get inspiration of what Easter eggs you want. New Free is probably like my favorite brand of Easter eggs and just chocolate. Um, and and I've got what is it the called, Sienna? Can you even say that? What? Chucky Explosion Easter Egg. And it's <laughs> got milk chocolate. I think that's milk. And marshmallows. Then marshmallows, chocolate oh. chips, and white chocolate all in one. Okay, that one does look epic. I'm I starting to get regrets now. Sorry, there's only one. Ooh. Let's see. It's all textured. Look at it. Mmm, that's amazing. No, I'm sorry, but didn't we just get catfish? <laughs> no, it's not that. Not that much different. I mean, there's only four marshmallows, but <laughs> <laughs> five. No, to be technical. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh. Am sound. I doing it really weirdly? No, it's we want to see like if there's more marshmallows. You got catfish or not? I don't think there is. No. Okay, mm. I don't know what I'm doing. That looks good. Mmm. Mm. What's the chocolate like? Is it like creamy, like milk chocolate? Mm. Oh, it's kind of like a rice syrup one, like rice milk. It's like a rice based one. This one's really good for children, this brand, isn't mm. it? So it does that actually. <gasps> Look, mm. there's more marshmallows. Mm. That looks really good. I'm going to try mine now. So I got the lemon fizz one. Ooh, that sounds fresh. Creamy yeah. and fresh. Mine's actually not an Easter egg. It's <gasps> a bunny! Look at the packaging. Oh, Look how cute it Look is. At the packaging. It's actually what? like made out of cardboard, so that's actually a bit yeah. more eco-friendly. I don't know if that's a new one. Look at oh. this, guys. I feel kind of bad eating and I kind of don't want to eat Yeah, go on. Oh. <laughs> mm. I know why it's called lemon fizz now. It tastes like lemon and it's like got... It's fizzy chocolate. Is it? Can I try yeah, a little bit? No, it's mine. Oh. No, fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fizzy chocolate. Mm. Really? I didn't know that even exists. Mm, it's crackling in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And it doesn't taste like washing up liquid lemon. No, that is ASMR. Oh, that's mm, a good that's one. really nice. Do you think some children will like the fizzing though? Because I feel like karma yeah. might not like it. No, I've always loved the fizzing. I sometimes didn't like it because it would go like oh. right up in your ears. I love it. So I've got buttermilk, salted caramel crunch, chalky egg and caramel nugget bar. So it actually says it's award winning on the back, which is pretty cool, isn't it? So we've got our bar there, Ooh. and then we've got the egg Ooh, wrapped, in, wrapped in gold foil. Look at that, that looks like a nice classic Easter egg, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was no effect. Whoa, what just happened? <laughs> that smells really nice. What's it like? Is it buttery then? Mmm. -mm. Mm, it's got a little crunchy bits in as well. Oh, is that the caramel? No, mm. Mikey is traumatized from that. I have chosen <laughs> well. You have. I don't. How do you know though? How no, do you know? Well, I've chosen well. Come on then, right? I want to mm. show you what I've got. Hang on. Oh, the bar. This I want to see this as well, mate. Nugget and caramel center, coated in plant-based mm. chocolate. Ooh. Mm. Is that like a Mars bar? Yeah, it's a bit like a Mars bar, actually. I can't even barely remember what Mars bars are like, but Mars bars, really good. And I have here, with this cheeky little bottom, I have <laughs> Charlie the Bunny. So now I'm going to try another M&S Feud um, product, which they actually have a good vegan range. This one looks really, really cute. Mia's laughing about how she said feud instead of food. M&S is having an argument with someone. <laughs> My hormones are going insane today. Oh! Oh, I can't believe it. I got really excited because they also have the paper packaging inside, which is nice. But look what's happened to <laughs> Charlie, are you okay? I mean, you're about to eat him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I don't know whether this is from like when they delivered it or what, but I'm really, I was gonna really, I was so excited to bite off those ears. Is it meant to be white and brown? I don't know. It actually yeah, it looks is. like it's. Oh, yeah. um, Hollow shaped rabbit made with cocoa. It doesn't really say. It says Charlie likes to race best friends Curly and Walter, blah, blah. 
I mean, look, the picture is the same as the what actual is it thing, apart from it has ears. It's I know making Charlie. the rabbit a character and then you're eating it. So <laughs> She learned from the best. You always nick my ideas. Right, anyway, let's see what it tastes like. Sorry if I'm eating from my mouthful, right? It's creamy. <clears throat> Milk chocolate. Let me try and get a bit where there's the white chocolatey bit on it. Sorry, loads of the chocolate is melting down my throat, so I swallowed a lump and now it's melting down the back Ew. of my throat. Ooh. <gasps> that bit is like solid. Oh wow. Oh, mm. But Chill Charlie. Up. You are incredible. I think it's a really good one. I wouldn't say it's my favourite Easter egg. It kind of tastes like it's more for children. I prefer the more refined flavours. I prefer the more... Oh, my one. No, actually, I prefer the more like darker, raw chocolate ones, you know. This one's good though. I'd be happy if this is so bought up for me. Stop it. <laughs> they keep winding me up. Stop it. Anyway. There is a world out there to explore. I have had so much chocolate, I've got so much energy, and I'm ready oh to put my exploring hat on. Oh right, so I don't think we should stay inside. I've got too much energy. I'm yeah, literally please, let's off get out. <laughs> so, right, it's Easter time, and hopefully, all of like cafes and restaurants and all of the chains have some Easter food menus. I think Ooh, that's a thing, yeah. isn't it? They do for like Halloween and Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, Valentine's cool. Day, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking we should go out and have like lunch and some snacks. Get out of the house, okay. shall we? Fab. So I'm not sure what, I haven't done any research for this film. I just thought we'd go with the flow of this video today and just see what there is. So I'm just gonna put Easter menu foods. UK. <gasps> right, so I'm looking on Costa, they always Ooh. deliver. And then breakfast and pastries, there is actually a vegan hot cross bun, but we've just had that though. Yeah, I know, I really but don't know. But there is something, one. I don't know. And then there are lots of sweet things there. There's like chocolate Rocky caramelized Road. biscuit loaf from Rocky Road. Is that Eastery? I don't know if they're Easter specials though. I think that's just what they always have. But the hot cross bun is Easter special, is isn't it? it? Yeah, yeah, isn't it? A hot cross bun is Easter food. Yeah. That yeah. is part of the rule, isn't it, Fizz Fam? Easter foods. Now let's look on drinks. It doesn't seem like they have any like I'm so special nice. drinks. Maybe they haven't like updated their website. They have a tropical mango bubble frappe, but that That's doesn't actually look. I know a really good place. Cafe Nero. That's what I was thinking. Cafe, Cafe Nero. Cafe Nero. Why am I doing that? I don't know. Sorry, right. So let's go the advert. Let's see what they've got. New spring drinks. It's calling it spring <gasps> menu. See menu. See menu. Oh, it looks oh, really good. Looks, yeah. Right. Pistachio no, cherry. cherry ice. Oh, cherry, cherry ice, cherry ice latte. latte. Two oh, shots of espresso that. milk with cherry and hint of vanilla. I, Without the it. espresso. Yeah. Oh, that <laughs> does look really good. Let's see what food they have. But I like what I said. We can do, you know, like pub crawls. We can do like food crawls. We have been on a wild goose chase for this fam, quite oh. literally. <laughs> Trying to find a cafe Nero. So we're now, I don't know where we are. Where are we? No, we I haven't don't know. Been on a wild goose chase, we've been on a wild duckling chase. Yes. Yeah. Back there it said it was Mayfair, something or other Mayfair. So yeah. I don't know where That's we are. That's the BBC studio. Is it? Yeah, that. Right. So we're. Marley Bow. Marley Bow, right? Yeah, this we're is. Marley Bow. We've gone, we've, it's because we went all the way down, all the way back up. Right, so we thought we'd walk to Baker Street and that we could go and find a Cafe Nero there. And there were loads of places which looked like they could have Easter foods in. But because we just said to you that we were gonna get that delicious drink, we didn't want to let you down. And to be honest, I'm really excited for it. Right, so we're near the BBC studios. Mia said, yes, we are. And there is meant to be one around the corner. Guys, we were like walking and no one could see it. And they always say about, because I've said I don't ever wear my glasses. They always say that I don't spot things. I was actually the one that spotted this, wasn't I? Yep. Remember yeah. this in your memory when you always say I can't spot things. I spotted this. Well done. Okay? Should we sit outside or? Let's go and order it. Yeah. I I'm think we should get decaf. Decaf? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, definitely for you, anyways. Let's see if they've got any food here. Wow. I am so good. good. Right. So how are we saying this is Easter? But it's part of their spring Easter menu. Come on, either way, we're just gonna make it count because how can you not? Oh, I spilled up my leggings. Already? Oh my gosh, it smells, it tastes so good guys. It tastes really strong on cherry, it's amazing. But then there's a coffee kit. Yeah, and it's creamy. Guess what, Sienna? I had a trick on Sienna. And I've got her um, caffeinated. <laughs> I love how you said, guess what, Sienna? <laughs> and she could also hear you. <laughs> I don't even know what happened, but I'm still laughing. It was funny either way. It, it was just a classic mum thing. Try it, go on. You're the biggest critique, so try it. Mm. I mean, chocolate and cherry is that incredible. That was nice already. Mm -hmm. Who could not? The fact there's vegan cream on it. 
I feel like they're treating us cafe wow. Nero. Yeah. Cafe really Nero. Decent. Yeah. You, I always thought you were really good, Cafe Nero. I thought the, the coffee was good quality. I thought you had some good vegan options, but you have stepped that's, it up. That's not Cafe Nero. But if they're watching this, you have stepped it up, Cafe Nero. And Fizz Fowl, you should definitely come here. Why didn't you? You should stand on a box and start like. Why don't you go in Cafe Nero and go stand on a box and preach to everyone about how good Cafe Nero is? I like I already it. know though, because they're in there. I need to go cost yeah, render it. No, we need to go out on the street. <laughs> I need to go to in a Starbucks and get Starbucks to start upping it. Why don't you storm in the BBC studios, considering this the BBC, and just storm in there and say you've got to tell them how good Cafe Nero is. I should storm in there while they're doing like a show, like while they're live broadcasting. Yeah. Well, that's over there. And then declare it. To Why don't the you whole flash as well? What? What? <laughs> Up now, please. Right nearby, there's a place called Crosstown Donuts, and I, I we've been I've never been having a debate with you, haven't I? Senna insists that they don't do seasonal donuts, but I actually remember them doing like seasonal donuts. I am so I have a feeling that discussion. they're going to have an Easter donut. Like, how hard is it to actually find Easter food? Right, so let's go there. It's literally two minutes away. Let's go two minutes. Like, come on, guys. Looks like it's that way, or is it that way? No, it's this way. It's always fun when Georgie controls the day trips. Fun. I want my lunch. Quirky. <laughs> quirky? You're so quirky, Mum. You're That's so different. So more insane. At least she admits also, it. Also, have you noticed how that place is like somewhere fancy and it's got Leon in the name and then there's a Leon opposite. Isn't that... We're here, guys, at Cross Hand and I think they have a hot cross bun donut. I am glad I stayed neutral in that discussion because I don't have the disappointment of being the one that lost. Oh, wow. There. Spice hot cross bun donut. Cinnamon okay. cutter spice dough and orange glaze. Okay, thank Hello. you. Oh, I'm so excited because you've got an Easter themed donut, haven't yes. you? Yes. Can we have four of those, please? They look amazing. Bye. I'm so excited. Oh, I feel like after the, a couple of fails, this is the exciting. Do you know, I'm going to have a cool juice bar down trying this. I'm so excited because it has custard in it and custard from donuts are my favourite and custard. it's cinnamon custard. Go in then, shove it in, girls. <laughs> <laughs> You're Billy. the one that's going to be shoving it, literally. Mm. Mm. It's really moist. Oh, and really so nice. cinnamony. It tastes so good. I actually prefer this to a hot cross bun because it's like a donut and a hot cross bun. Yeah. So we've got some orange zest on there. I don't know if it's a bit kind of like caramelized, yeah. Candy. Mmm. Yeah, it is. And then what's this? What's the actual cross made out of? Almond butter. Oh, nice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's actually really nice. Sourdough. Mm. The donuts are sourdough, which just made them super like airy and just mm, amazing. You really did put like the almond butter in the hot cross bun. Well, it's funny because this is like all almond buttery, like the custard is almond butter. See, I gave the first meal a four out of ten just because it tastes a bit like, I don't know, not the ideal breakfast. But this is like a healthier version of a treat. So this is more like a eight and a half out of ten for me. It's really good. We are now standing outside this really, really posh looking chocolate and ice cream shop. I don't know what the name is though, Mia. What is it? Venchi. What is it? I don't know. That's what it says on the book. It's called Venchi. And it's literally next door to Cross Town. And when I walk past, I noticed that they've got loads of Easter eggs in here and things like that. So I feel like we should look in there and see what things they have, what Eastery, so vegan goodies. Bonnie Rabbit, look. Chick. Right, we come bearing some delicious goodies. What? They have an amazing selection in there. I think we should try this one first. Yeah, I know, that's the one I want. So I think it's like a Cadbury cream egg style. It's like a Thank pick a mix you. of Easter eggs. It was literally the best shop ever. This is called Cremino Extra Dark. I can barely do it with my nails. Me neither, I am struggling. Whoa, look at that. Oh. Mm, that looks so good. Let's see what's inside. I'm but you just love the surprise of not knowing. Mm, yeah. Like, oh, that looks good. Mmm. Mm. Still struggling. Right, ready? Mm. They're very like hazelnutty. They're not my favourite just because I'm not into like this chocolate like this. You want that one? So we've got dark chocolate with hazelnut. Mmm. Packaging's nice. I know. Beautiful. Von G. Mmm. Oh, mm. I'll tell you what it's like, um, Ferrero Rocher. Yeah? Mm. Oh, girls, yeah, did you think Dad was going to go... <sighs> same tasting yeah. chocolate. I was disappointed in you for that. Yeah. It was 
generally disappointed. Yeah. Mm. Ah, oh, they're just different intensities, so this one's 70%. I don't think I can eat any more of those because they're uh, too strong. Is it good? I prefer the other one. Yeah? This one's 70%. I don't know what the other one was, but oh, it's still really nice. To be honest, I was a bit disappointed by those eggs because when it said it had like cream in it or creme, I thought it was going to be yeah, more like caramelly and that. I'm disappointed. Yeah, I... That was my least favourite thing of the day. Yeah, I don't like chocolate when it's just like chocolate. Yeah, I mean, I'm being fussy because this is like food reviewing. Whereas I'm more yeah. refined and I'm going to give that a solid 8 out of 10. Really nice. Well, there's actually a Ben and Jerry store in London. I never knew this, so they've just opened. It's just turned 1 o'clock. Of course I knew about this place. Have you Promi been here before? I promise I haven't. Oh. <laughs> I came a few months ago, or well, like a couple of weeks. You know, I came yesterday. <laughs> I mean, it have anything which is really Easter. I feel like it's going to be. How about a chocolatey cheesy. love affair? Chocolate ice cream with salt and caramel, salt and caramel like chunks. They always have that flavour. It's kind of cheating. I mean, you're the one that came up with this. So like, sandwich. how no. is that Easter? I mean, you're the one that set the rules. So. Excuse me. Do you have any Easter flavours? Okay then, thank you. The man did just say that they don't have Easter flavours, so because he said that, then we have to go. Rules are rules. Thank you. Thanks a lot. See you soon, bye. I can't describe to you how tempting it was to want a G, because it smells so good in there. And they yeah. said that they had vegan um, Sunday options as well. We're now at your granny's favourite place, and it's M&S. Right, so I know we had Charlie the Bunny earlier and the hot cross buns did deliver. So I feel like as we've been wandering around, it's been really hard to find Easter stuff. So I feel like we're gonna have good luck in here. Yeah. So come, let's Thank go in and see what other things they have. So what did we get from M&S? One of Dun -dun -dun. the best places for food ever in the world. We One got... of the things I'm so excited Shh. for. Shh. It's got some daffodils no. to eat. That's oh, an I'm Easter food, food, isn't it? To eat? No. <laughs> But bunny, bunny shape, bunny shape crumpet. Everyone likes I a love crumpet. crumpet. Mm. You're a little cheeky crumpet, aren't you, Mia? They made something that looks really weird in chat. Something that actually looks cute. Like, don't you agree? It looks really weird. I know Anyone with that phobia. Oh, yeah, no crumpet. No, they, I sometimes get a, a big shivers. But oh my goodness! Eel. So Percy Pig actually has Easter party time. Percy pigs. Don't I'm they so look good? Look at him. He's all colourful and all just. Eastery and pastel colours, mm. and then Colin, oh the legend, Colin the caterpillar, <laughs> has done the egg hunt version. Look, oh. Colin the caterpillar, fruit flavour gums. Hey, wow. read that, Mum. Read it. It's a fruity, fruity extravaganza. <laughs> extravaganza. Oh, comment down below all of your egg puns. We have been um, yeah. coming out with the egg puns, have we? Yeah. Well, I think this day has been excellent. Expect. Well, and we off. have an Why not just excellent? We don't know. And um, this is, we've got a, a lovely plant kitchen vegan bunny hollow. Basically yeah, a chocolate lovely. bunny. I haven't tried it yet. And uh, when we get home, Darren's <laughs> going to be smashing this with his forehead. Good. And then we also have some of the, I might actually save these for the babies for Easter, Aww. but I had to pick them up. Darren found these though, I'll give you all credit for it. These are hollow cocoa eggs for Easter egg hunting. Hunting, hunting. I said that funny, hunting. didn't I? And then I feel like I don't feel like we cheated because this was in like the Easter food section for when you have Easter and I celebration. Was the one that these up. So it's Percy Pig fizzy, not fizzy like us, but fizzy fruit juice drink. Why is it spelled like that? To make it cool. Because we're going to sue them. Pig. No, we'll sue them. Because it's Percy Pig. They made it to give a peak. But then wouldn't it just We've be copyrighted fizz, haven't we? Mia, what have we told you about swearing? That's not a swear word. What is it? What should carrying? Preparing the lunch, which is going to be, of course, the little bunny crumpets. I don't think you can toast them. Or you put them in the oven. Yeah, you can toast yeah, them. Yeah, you toast Two them. Two to three minutes. Yeah, careful. I didn't know that was there. <laughs> I'm not going to make them, okay? Bye. Mars, no, that's no. mine. I have a little bit of the white chocolate left and she's eating it. I'm not cheating though. Just don't look at them for too long. I can confirm they do actually smell really nice. And now we got the plates out and share these. That literally smells lush, Sienna. It looks like a little kid's dream. Stop, I would have loved that when I was six. I know. Look how cute it is. They're being so cute. Hello, I'm your waiter for today. 
Fizz fam, can I just say something? Why does this look like I'm at a kid's birthday party? <laughs> That's what I was saying. I would have loved this when I was six. I need it. Mm. These taste really fruity. Yeah. Cheers. They're like mm, sherbet y almost, aren't they? Mm. Like soury, fruity. Cheers. Not any of that. It's a little bunny. Cheers. Really nice. I don't have a well, carpet. carpet. Just... Mm. Yum. I feel bad eating these without Kara and Karma, but they would go so high after this meal. <laughs> We're at school eating like a really whole grain hummus sandwich with banana and like an organic gluten-free flapjack, flapjack. and then <laughs> we're eating this. <laughs> I love crumpets so much. Oh, look at that. That's so cute, guys. Oh. I love it. And look, the earrings are actually like Patty Pig. Look. <laughs> Last time I opened a fizzy drink, it went everywhere, as it kind of always tends to. Oh, I'm alright. Today's my lucky day. Mmm, fizzy. Or fruity. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a review. <laughs> Tastes like carbonated fruit juice. <laughs> Tastes like wine without the alcohol, but for people who like to have fun. It's actually got grapes juice in it, so that's why I'm saying why. So for our dinner, you're probably wondering what on earth are we gonna have? Like, is there actually anything dinner-like to have, which is Easter food? By the way, Karma and Kara back from nursery now. Look at my duckling. Oh yeah. And they actually have come back with a load of Easter fun and goodies. I'll actually, I'll quickly show you one of the things that they've made at school. These gorgeous little daffodils. Right, so we're gonna actually order something for dinner and we have fad, I'll let Darren tell you. Right, obviously we're making up as we go along because what on earth is like vegan Easter foods other than just chocolate eggs, I don't know. So I was like, right, people eat lambs at Easter. It's very sad, I know. But so I was like, let's type in vegan lamb for the lols and see what comes up. And there's actually vegan lamb and cabbage pizzas. So we're gonna get three of those. Oh, and we're going to order them. Yay! And of course, there are lots more Easter sweet stuff for dessert as well. Oh, the, the little chicks live in this grass of the Easter pouch. Do you not show what else is in there? And it's a little bell. And it's decorated by all these rings. Oh, that's, that's so amazing. And this is the grass. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Oh. That's so cute! Pizza time everyone! <laughs> Can you hear Mum Karma? Where are you? You there? <laughs> Show us your pizza face. I don't know if is that right. What's your what's your excited for pizza face? Oh I can just say no no that's what if I eat a non um, gluten-free pizza, that is what my face goes like. Okay, these are not gluten-free. As far as I know, are they just but vegan I mean, lamb? What is that? Has any of the day been gluten-free? <laughs> no, but has. Look how Easter this looks. So I like my little display here. Look, all the little daffodils. And my comment, they're incredible. So look at these masterpieces here. Mm. I'm so proud of all of this. That my beautiful fun. children. I know, that's stunning. That I love and them I, so I much. I love the glitter in it. You put glitter on it, yeah? Mm-hmm. Wow. Sparkly, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Show us your pizza face, Mia. Yes! I love it. It's like pizza. throwbacks to the Home Alone. Yay! Yay! Yay, pizza! Here we go. Yay! Pizza! Oh, Sienna! I did that really... Is Sienna here? Yeah, she's there. I did that really responsible thing where I actually turned the oven on so we can make sure the oven stay warm. Yeah! Right. This one is all for me. Are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> Wait. I am ready. Wait. <laughs> Are you ready? Ta da! Wow. Oh, wow, that looks so good. I'm so excited. Yeah, go on, put the whole thing in your mouth. Go on, boys. Go on. This is my training for the one chip challenge, by the way, guys. Mm. When she says training, she means to be able to eat the whole one chip because you need to go see our family fizz video where Mia actually did eat part of the one chip, which, as you know, is the world's spiciest chip. Crisp for us English folk. Oh, these are big slices. Oh, wow. You want some curry? Looks amazing, doesn't it? Right, let's try some, shall we? You want to help mum? You're right. I'm good, right. I'm going really, to give us a review of the vegan lamb and cabbage pizza. Is there another one? 
Let's have another pizza. Mm -mm. Why? Mm. It's a good mm. boy. Yeah. It's very, right, there's a nice tahini sauce on it, which is creamy, mm -hmm. and the cabbage is really nice. It's a bit spicy, isn't it? It is. It's got a bit of a kick to it. Yeah. Normally when there's the little ones involved and I'm we're eating sick. something which is the S word, um, <laughs> we call chip. it the S word because no, if uh, you say chip. it, it puts it in there. Hang on, that's not a chip. Chip, <laughs> chip, it is a chip. That's a chili. Chili. Mm. Carl will eat the yeah. chili. Delicious. Yes, it's like got a Middle East, chili. really creamy. Yeah. It's really spicy. It's actually got a bit of a Middle Eastern twang to it. Come on, eat it. Yeah. No. Mm. It's really creamy. It's and I love very the very spicy, Koa. I want to eat it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend it. I feel like this is kind of like a kebab. Look, if you can see this. So there's loads of cabbage and then cabbage and then obviously there's the tahini sauce. And this is sort of like meant to represent what's on a kebab, I think, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's actually really nice, though. I love it. Actually, it's a really good combo. It's just not very eastery. That's, that's what I was saying, gonna say. Like, I feel like this is really good, and we did really try our best. Cause how would we know like what it was gonna be like? Mm. But I feel like technically this is not Easter. This is literally a kebab. Honestly, if you start going like that, it's a kebab, <laughs> isn't it? Is it good, Yeah. Hey, Sienna's back. Sienna, your dinner is served. This Ooh. is actually, in my opinion, the most delicious pizza ever. Okay. Yeah. You really just put it's like the really expectations young. up so high. Really high young. Though. And that is sweet. <laughs> I, promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. Look, But it's, yeah. it's made it's, out it's, a goat, but the goat yeah. is vegan. Not to eat. Yeah. <laughs> It's, I know it's so confusing. It's pretend lamb. I know. It's weird. You don't have to like it just because I do, by the way. Sorry for putting pressure on. Yeah. It's really different, isn't it? Uh, hey, yeah, honestly, I'm going nine and a half. Uh, I actually was saying while we weren't filming uh, this, I feel like it's possibly the nicest I, pizza I've ever had. I think it's because we've had yeah. sweet all day, Georgie, so yeah. I've been yeah. waiting for savoury so yeah. bad. I think 10 out of 100. Uh, I love how the cabbage is a bit old on. Um, like I was really craving some vegetables. Um, so it's going to be dessert um, now, yeah? Oh God. No. Uh -oh. Yay! Yeah! So the babies have been really curious to see what's in here. I actually got this from an organic shop and it's a vegan Easter cake it says. And it says on the back, La Colomba, meaning dove, is a traditional Italian Easter cake baked in the form of a dove as a symbol of peace and renewal. Wow, wow. that sounds so nice. Open it. Wow, this is so fun. It's like an actual gift. Can I open it? Yeah. And it open Careful. Hang on. Uh -oh. Careful, because I do want to see it. Oh, so beautiful. Look, at the back, you can see that it is a dove. Oh, yeah. Shall I slice some of this up? Would everyone like a slice? You know like how I served up my Easter egg earlier? I reckon you should do that. No. No, that's no. disrespectful. I don't know why I don't know. Really. Oh. I do it. Here's yours, Tella. Oh. Here's yours, Tella. Shall I get a spoon? Here's yours, Tella. Here's yours, Tella. Ooh, thank you. Oh, wow. Let's bring this with this. It's more like a bread. It's oh. kind of, yeah, it's looking a bit like a croissant or something. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh. We didn't eat a spoon with a hot cross bun. No. Yeah, it does look like bread. Mm. It's like a mm. croissant, hot cross bun, fruit bread. Mm. It's got figs in it, hasn't it? Yummy. No, it's not fig. What is that? Orange. Yeah. Mm. Orange game. I've got Yummy. almonds in top. Mm. And what are these? It's like... What are those? It's like a... Almondy topping. I don't know, like an almondy crust. It's really, really nice. This is what I imagine someone Nans makes. This is like it's so good. good. Yeah. Isn't it? Mm. It's like a panetta. Oh, you know one of those ones that you buy at Christmas? Mm. It just big Christmas vibes. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alma loves it. <laughs> I don't think either of the babies like it, to be honest, but I really I'm like it. Eight out of ten. My okay. favourite food of the day. This is a beautiful tradition. My Easter food was pizza. This is high quality. It's a lovely Italian tradition. I love the meaning behind it. I give this a nine out of ten. I mm. give this a three. I give this a one, a zero. I think this is a... I don't really know. I, I don't really think too much about my food that deeply, and you know, I just enjoy it, so I can't really give it a rate. I just enjoy it. 
Even if it tastes bad. Even when we're not filming, we'll give our food ratings out of 10. <laughs> okay. Mom is holding me hostage. Mom is tying me to the chair. Does that work at more cake? <laughs> Good <laughs> me to get to the cake. Cool. You turn in the door. Am I allowed more cake? Yeah. Okay, oh no, get it's tug cake. of war with me in the middle. <laughs> Let's go get more cake. Come on, chef. <laughs> 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 Yummy. Comment down below some of your favourite Easter foods or any vegan ones that we've missed from all of the chains yeah. in the UK. Other than that, end of the vid. By the way, I hope you all have a lovely Easter as well. Take Love care, you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.